Hello everyone, this is Zook, and today I'm going to be drawing Spawn. Spawn is actually my favorite comic book character. I used to watch the cartoons as a kid like crazy. I was uh, I never actually bought the comic books because we don't have them over here. But um, I was always I was always fascinated with this character because he is very much different from uh, most other characters in comic books, especially heroes. When you look at a hero in a comic book, you think, well, I think, shit, this guy is lame. He has, like, the muscles and the perfect hair, and he's all good, and he's all soothing, and, like, helps kittens off trees. It's just corny. While Spawn, on the other hand, well, let's just say, if you look at him, you don't really think, oh, this guy's gonna rescue my puppy from the well. Yeah, he is the creation of hell. It was a hell spawn. Yeah, he is supposed to be, like, evil. Evil is his power. Evil is his everything. But... Despite that, he is still one of the good guys. So, I guess that's admirable in a way. But yeah, Spawn is a, is a creation of Todd McFarlane. And I honestly think that this guy had a stroke of genius when he created this character. For some reason, Spawn was never as popular as other comic book characters. I mean, he was created in 1992. And up until 2008, he kind of lost his popularity. I don't know what happened exactly. Some characters have lasted like... 20 years already and they're still popular while Spawn on the other hand is uh, just doesn't have that shine about him anymore I think this could actually be due to that shitty fucking movie that they made oh my god that movie was absolutely terrible it ruined everything Spawn stood for I don't know what they were thinking with that shit um, the cartoons however were really really good I really liked them I think I've seen all of them like three or four times start to finish but yeah when the movie came out i was so excited that i thought like oh man this is gonna be crazy and it was crazy it was just crazy bad i mean maybe spawn is just not a character that you could put in a movie successfully and have it played by actors and such but come on uh, there have been movies that have successfully portrayed comic book characters so spawn is just not one of them i don't know what the hell maybe they should remake it i think they should remake it with like crazy cgi and stuff and the movie was rather old, so... I don't know. Maybe it was just the lack of uh, special effects that made it bad. Or maybe it was just the acting. I don't know. It was it was not the best thing I've ever seen by far. In any case, let's return to Spawn the character. The real deal. He was created in 1992, as I said, by Todd McFarlane. Todd McFarlane used to be um, part of Marvel Comics, but he separated and created his own uh, branch, so to say, called Image Comics. And you can tell by his style that he has a very... Um, he has kind of the same thing I do. He is attracted to, like, the gruesome, the monstrous, the, um, the shocking. Uh, even when he makes a good guy, even when he makes a hero, he still makes him somewhat evil and disgusting because Spawn is supposed to be dead. He is dead, disfigured. He is, you know, is not, like, the, the best-looking guy out there. So anyway, Spawn is supposed to be Al Simmons, who was um, a police officer, sort of, and he joined the um, United States Secret Service. He was a Marine, and he joined the Secret Service, and then he was transferred to the CIA. And he was killed in a mission in Botswana by one of his uh, partners called uh, Chapel. He was also present in the comics, and I think they had a, a fight at some point. Spawn 1, obviously. But anyway, he was uh, killed, like assassinated by the guy, and he was uh, brought back to life, sort of. First he was sent to hell because he used to be a hitman, and then he was brought back to life and uh, made a servant of Malbosia. So, Malbosia returned Spawn to planet Earth, or to the world up above, five years after his death. With uh, the suit, the cape, the chains, the magic powers, and just about the whole deal that represents Spawn in, in his essence. He also assigned the clown to him, who is probably one of the most dislikable characters, I think. The clown is absolutely disgusting. And the clown, uh, as you well know, probably turns into the Violator, uh, which um, Cho'Goth from League of Legends is based upon. Anyway, Simmons, or Spawn... Uh, slowly regains his memory, and uh, he wants to visit his wife, Wanda, who is, like, hot and stuff, so understandable. 
But apparently Wanda in the meantime had married his friend Terry Fitzgerald and they also had a daughter. And Spawn kind of loses hope in everything and he decides to do his own thing and not be a servant of the devil. But um, yeah, there's a whole lot of back and forth because clown the clown was supposed to compel Spawn to abide uh, Malboja and lead his armies he was supposed to be a lieutenant in the in Hell's army so Spawn didn't really want to have to deal with that shit so he was kind of doing his own thing he started um, hanging out in some slums and he killed a bunch of street gangs he killed a child rapist so he was a pretty good guy and he uh, became friends with the hobos in the alleys and he sort of became their savior you know their champion etc etc Spawn was technically immortal, but the only thing that could kill him was angels. And angels were sort of mercenaries that were sent sent to Earth from above to hunt down the hell spawn. And um, yeah, Spawn had some altercations with uh, numerous angels and uh, bad guys after him, but he, he came out the victor each time. At some point, Spawn befriends this hobo called Coliostro, who uh, apparently knew a lot of things about Spawn that even himself didn't know. And uh, later on, he reveals himself to be a former Hellspawn who had renounced serving Malboja. And apparently this is how it works with the powers. All the powers that the Spawns have are based on necroplasmic energy, which is basically what they're made of, what their suits are made of, etc. So if you use those powers and you don't serve the devil then those powers drain your essence. So eventually you end up dying. So apparently Coliostro has, had been alive for like centuries because he had this little bit of uh, necroplasmic energy left in him and he didn't want to use it because then he would die. So to sort of make up for all the bad deeds he had done, he takes upon uh, takes it upon himself to advise Spawn and uh, treat him as his protege to make sure that he doesn't stray from the path he's supposed to have, etc. So it's kind of nice. It It's sort of a contrast between Coliostro and the clown. Coliostro being the good side of Spawn and the clown being the bad side, like in those uh, cartoons where you have a little devil on your shoulder and an, an angel on the other one. So they were kind of the two voices, two con contrasting voices that um, led Spawn on his path. Spawn ends up going through a lot of problems because... He didn't want to serve evil, but at the same time, Heaven didn't give a shit about that. So Heaven was constantly attacking him, and uh, the Satan or Malboja was also attacking him simultaneously because he considered Spawn a traitor. But yeah, Heaven didn't care, so they just kept sending angels to kill Spawn because his existence on in the earth, on Earth wasn't natural. So. They wanted to uh, make sure that justice was served, etc. So Spawn was constantly dealing with uh, mercenaries and emissaries trying to assassinate him. And he goes through all these uh, metamorphoses that aren't really portrayed in the cartoons. In the cartoons, his evolution is rather short. He learns about himself. He learns about the history of the Hell Spawns, etc. But in the comics, apparently, he gains powers such as the ability to ma manipulate, manipulate elements and... Um, split the earth and his armor also evolves into like the spiky thing which i drew here because i like that version more than the the plain one so he just he, he sort of evolves and devolves at the same time so uh, i'm not sure how it ends because there's like so much to read here about spawn but uh, i just wanted to give you the basic info on who he is and uh, how he came about existing now let's talk a bit about the drawing as I said, I streamed this on um, Twitch TV. It took about, let's see, in total about seven hours. And I really had fun because I got to talk to all the viewers and stuff. And uh, guys were sitting there discussing various things while I was just drawing and checking the chat once in a while. I mostly used a, a B pencil for just about everything. And for the darker parts, I used the 4B as per usual, as with my previous drawings. So... Um, yeah, I actually used no reference for this one. I mean, I looked at a couple of pictures just to see how the pattern on his armor was and what kind of accessories he had. But um, with the amount of comics that came out, Spawn is actually not very popular on the internet. So I didn't have a, an abundancy of reference images to look at. I just sort of did it 
from my head. But yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I find the character really nice. And if you haven't seen the cartoons yet, you definitely should. They are really worth watching. But yeah, please uh, rate this video if you liked it, and I'll see you for my next ones. Bye-bye.